wanted to get your attention so that we can introduce you to a gentleman that I've become very familiar with over the last couple of months, uh, who truly has a vision for this town, something that we're not used to, something that we desperately need, and someone that can deliver that vision with all of our hopes and dreams in mind. And without further ado, I want to introduce Michael Spear, the next mayor of the state. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, Hi, Hello. Uh, thank you very much for coming tonight. I truly uh, appreciate everyone showing up and really showing support. I want to give a special thanks out to Frank Capone, who has gone over over the top with helping put this together. Uh, giving a round of applause. My grandmother, Jan Lugow, who's also the treasurer of the campaign. My mother, Tammy, who is actually over there working the register. And I want to thank Mary Ann, who's over here taking a little video, I believe. Uh, but a round of applause for her hard work as well. And most of all, I want to thank my wife, because without her, this wouldn't be possible, and she wouldn't let me do it. So uh, <laughs> be grateful for her. All right, so in East Haven, we've had, a, we have been, we've had a tough patch over the past handful of years. Things haven't always gone our way. We've made the paper sometimes for the wrong issues, the wrong reasons. We're not the old East Haven pride that we once had. I remember growing up 15 years ago when I was in high school, we had such pride about being from East Haven. And somewhere along the lines, that's been lost. That's something that we need to find again. When I look around the town, I see a divided town. I don't just see a divided party, political parties. I see a divide between Foxen, the Senate, Mamaguin. I see the West End, and I see so many unfulfilled promises that just keep getting pushed aside. Oh, it's an election year. We're not going to talk about this. We're going to until after the election, but I'm here to fight on these things right on. We're going after anything that there is. When there was the 200 Tyler Street Committee, which uh, myself and a couple other people in this room originally sat on uh, when April was in office in 2011. Um, we take very big pride in that and actually holding up what that referendum stood for. Um, we plan to just work together with people who are in this town regardless of party affiliation. Uh, I've been involved in politics going back almost my entire life uh, from my grandparents when they were involved back in the late 80s and the early 90s. One rule that they specifically embedded into my head was whether you're a Republican, Democrat, Independent, Unaffiliate, or whatever you are, if it's for local politics, everybody deserves the exact same amount of respect and everybody has a place inside of local government. We all know that you need people with different visions to help make a town work. You can't expect to vote for president and expect for your, uh, your street to be paid. People have to understand that local government is where it all starts. We have Board of Ed members here, Mindy Pellegrino, and Lou Paselli was here, but he left, but we'll give them a round of applause. I hope that when we, when we come into office in November that we're able to really push through the, the ideas that um, Mindy, Christine, and Lou all have for the Board of Education. Right now they're a little bit outnumbered, so hopefully we're going to be able to get a few other candidates in there who are going to really take it home for us come November, and we'll be able to get Board of Ed to uh, help us fix what's wrong with our school system and help improve it. Currently being ranked 24th out of 31, that's nothing to be proud of. And that only hurts all of our housing values. Nobody wants to move to East Haven because they're like, oh, I can get a great place in a beach town, but I might have to send my kids to private school because I don't want them going to the public schools. Now, it's not going to happen overnight. We're going to do it inch by inch. Every little inch matters. So we're not going to jump from 24 to top 10 in the first two years while we're in office. But if we jump from 24 to 19, I say that's a one heck of a start. And that's what our goal is. So we have little, little phases that we plan to do, and hopefully we'll be able to move forward with that. In every district with all our different councilmen that we have, the Democrats, we're, we're lacking in districts one, three, and five. 
we really need to step up the game this election season and put together a team and a slate that's actually going to get out there, knock the doors, work hard, and get out the vote come November 3rd. Other than that, we're going to be sitting in the same spot two years from now trying to rally up and win again, and Joe is going to be back in office again. We need to stop being in the paper for all of the wrong reasons. Once we get in there, now it's kind of just like, oh, what did he say to do now? I walk into a restaurant or a deli, and the first thing I do when I see a newspaper, I look and I make sure, did he say to make the front page or the local page and see what the problem is that day? Thank God nothing was in the paper yesterday. It was good. But we need to restore integrity to the mayor's office. Right now, it's a joke. Nobody cares about it. It's not looked at as a respectable position. It's taken advantage of, and we really need to kind of revamp the entire town hall and the way our government is ran in this town. Um, so by doing this and having the right group of people over the past eight months since we started our exploratory committee and formed our, uh, our candidate committee, it's really taken off uh, by knocking doors. The people are excited that there is somebody younger, that uh, we have a bunch of new people who are all buying into the same idea. We're not, we're not in a room saying, okay, one person has one idea and this person has another idea and we're gonna agree to disagree. I absolutely hate that statement. What I think is when you're in a room, if you have an idea and I have an idea and we're trying to figure out what's best for our town, you try and sell me on your idea, I try and sell you on my idea, and maybe we come up with something that's better than both of our ideas combined. And that's why when we started this, people were like, oh, well, why do you have a, a, an independent uh, supporting you and working on your committee? I go, because if you ask that person, what do they care about most? Making the town of East Haven better. And that's the same thing about a Republican who switched to a Democrat. They said, why do you have this person working with you? I go, because they believe that they can help change a school system and they believe that they can actually help make a difference. So once again, going back to my roots with my grandparents, I don't care what their party affiliation was, as long as as soon as you step through the doors, it matters that you, huh, I got a phone call. Uh, <laughs> uh, as, as soon as you walk through the doors, whatever's in the past is in the past. I don't care who you supported as a mayoral candidate or anything along the lines, 10 months ago or 10 years ago. If you're here now and you're in this room, which everybody is, we're all on the same team with the same mindset and the same focus headed towards November. We need to let everything go that's in the past. If somebody has said something about you in the past, guess what? Get over it. We're here for the right reasons. We're here for the right time. It's the perfect time for the taking. In the town of East Haven, you want more for yourselves. We want more for our children. I think most of them, we want more for our grandchildren. The only way that that's gonna happen is if we do this together and stop saying, oh, nothing's ever gonna change, or it's the same old stuff no matter who we vote in. It's not the same old politics because I don't wanna be a politician. I wanna be a public servant. I'm here because I'm a lifelong East Haven resident, and I believe that with the group that we've assembled that we could actually do good in this town as it started to be a little bit of a downward spiral. We need to fix the tarnished name and rebrand that image along with the integrity. So with everyone's help in this room and everybody just working together, I think that we can finally get those naysayers out of here who say it can't be changed and we will actually make the change come November. And with everyone's support and votes on November 3rd, we all wake up on November 4th with the New Haven Register headline saying, Spear knocks out Maturo and we start on our next path. So thank you for your support. Thank you for coming.